there, this is Small Affair, and I'm in Union Square, um, outside of Union Square, and this is The Illuminator, it's out in New York, and it's half the theater, and um, Jam, this is this awesome video game, I've actually played it, it's on the wall at City Bank, so, it's so cool, it's like Space Invaders, but it's different companies that dodge um, taxes. So there's a solidarity fist at the bottom with these people with the size of you. Well, the way I played it is on the, with a computer. So it's Java based where you, I click the mouse and then it shoots up um, at, the, at, the inv at the different, there's different corporate logos that come down. And it's really fun. So this is so awesome right now. So yeah, then look, oh wow. So then you, they did a good job. They liberated the government. So they were good at playing it and they won. So yeah, there's a bunch of people playing the game and um, they're projecting it right now on um, Citibank. If you go, um, if you search the tax evaders hashtag on Twitter, or I think it's like taxevaders.net, I hope they play it again. You can, I played the game on the computer with the mouse. So it's really cool. Uh, it's gonna start now, so they have like Wells Fargo, they have Facebook, Verizon. These wealthiest corporations are evading their taxes. So without those revenues, our social services are being cut. Education, health care, infrastructure, social security are now... Yeah, so there was... But starting, you can kind of see... I'll zoom if that helps. You see the best you could, and then it's shooting up there, and there's people underneath the fist. I don't think Zoomy was a good idea. Um, there's people with protest signs, so the fist is shooting up at these different banks. It's like different banks or Verizon, Facebook, different corporations that are tax evaders. And, and so, yeah, there's Goldman Sachs is up there. <laughs> on the wall. This is so awesome. And um, they're using the projector right now. Oh my gosh, it's the Illuminator. I'm so excited um, that I found them. <laughs> so, it's a, it's a, oh no, the government is trying to fix capitalism with more capitalism. So then it's going to be round two. Oh, and they're dropping. And if they, if they drop stuff on all the protesters and they die, then the game's over. So when you when I played it, I moved the mouse and it moved the solidarity fist, and all the people moved with me. And then when I clicked the mouse, I could shoot up at those things, at the different tax evaders. <laughs> and um, you got points that will build that will go to healthcare, or education, or different social causes where, you know, this tax money should be going if these corporations were, were paying their taxes. And so, yeah, they just got to the end of this wave and they got a bridge, a hospital, a fat point towards um, a fire station and social security was revitalized. Oh no, the corporations are taking control, so now they have to shoot some more. And there's, you can see at the bottom, Right? It says how many people. So now there's 13 people. So the people are with the picket sign next to the solidarity fist are dying. Well, so there's um, nine people. So yeah, you can't let your people run out. So they kind of move with the solidarity fist. And, um, oh, now the game's over again. So, yeah, they can keep playing it. So, I'm going to come over here. Oh, look, they're, just, they're still playing it. So, yeah, there's a bunch of people here. It's on City Bank. So.
So here's an explanation, and now they're going to, um, you see, there's a bunch of people out here, you can kind of see that we're stacked there on top of the van, and then here's the game of it again. Oh, now there's an overpass light brigade. It's beautiful. So the car is driving in front, but this is so awesome. They have this great light brigade underneath. Kind of working in conjunction. <laughs> you can see the taxis going by. And so there, this is on the street level, and then right above it, the game is being played on the bank. So they have the City Bank logo as well, which is just like really fun. This is really, really great. Um, so yeah, there's some people holding the, the, the LED lights. And then the game itself is up there on being projected from a projector onto the wall. And I know you can do it because the wall is pretty big. So I know that you can do it um, with a mouse and a computer. This is so awesome, and then like there's different logos that I know that you can get, um, depending on, on the place that you've chosen. So, if they went to Wells Fargo, there's a different one. Um, and I just think this is so fun. <laughs> So yeah, they're going to play the game again. This is like a great way, and you can hear the sound of it, so this is a really awesome way to raise awareness, and I'm really excited to get to see this happening. Um, it's there's action happening across the country, people with, project with projectors or with um, light brigade are doing this, so across the country this week, um, because April 15th is, you know, income tax day. <laughs> April 15th is income tax day. I'm trying to take a picture of it too, so. And, um, yeah, hopefully a Tri Illumination Production Squad in New Orleans will be doing one when we get, when I get back to New Orleans. <laughs> Yeah, there's this car. Oh, he's taking pictures of it. No. I know, he's taking pictures. He's taking the top guy. Oh, uh, he's... Yeah, he's taking the top guy. Oh, Sorry. yeah. Did I ask what he did? He's taking the top guy. He's taking the top guy.
Uh, this is so cool. So, I mean, there are projects, the little bit that I know uh, about the technical difficulties, about how this works technically, <laughs> is um, if you have a projector with a lot of lumens, you could project really big on a wall. And with a you can play the game with a computer if you have a computer projector connected to your projector. Um, you can do it with the mouse. So yeah, this is uh, the New York City overpass light brigade and the illuminator are out and about. And um, I was waiting and waiting for the rain to stop <laughs> so I could see this. And I'm really excited. So now the game's starting again. And there's the corporate logos of BP, Verizon, Citibank, General Election, Electric, and then it's explaining that they're not paying taxes and that the revenue from those taxes are would would help stop these cuts to education and healthcare. And um, we must rise up and make the corporate tax evaders pay their fair share. It's what it says at the beginning of the game. And oh, they just silly shot Facebook. So yeah, so the, instead of the typical like space invaders in the original game, there's um, these different space invaders like icons with corporate logos on them. And then the solidarity fence at the bottom has the protesters with their signs um, as we shoot down the the tax evaders. <laughs> so this is awesome. It's really great. But then there's also the overpass, the light brigade underneath. Oh, there's Wells Fargo. And so I was, yeah, I was figuring out how to do this myself um, because we have our own, we're starting our, we've been doing our own little projection, production squad in New Orleans um, which has illumination with a chain. And it's really fun. I mean, they, they have really good speakers in the van so you can hear the, the video game sound, which is cool. So, oh wow, social services were revitalized, plus 100 for hospital. So you play the game and get more, so, and get um, money, and get money for social services um, is kind of what you, what happens when playing the game, which is really fun. And I mean, this is such a great way, I think, to raise, you know, to raise awareness about this issue. It's creative. It's fun, it's interactive. I think that there is some kind of way that it could be developed to include like a PlayStation, but I'm not really sure. How that goes. I've never like I've never used a PlayStation, so I've just played the game. Um and yeah, if you, um, the Tax Evaders, Tax Evaders has a Twitter, if, and um, there's, I think it's taxevaders.net, you can learn more about it. <laughs> yeah, so people can fly. Hey, Ryan, how so are you? This is so exciting. I love it. Yeah, this is really fun. So yeah, people can actually play the game. Um, I guess if, if people are walking by, they can, they can play. 
Yeah, which is, it just, it's so great. It's like to engage people this way. It's interactive and, um, <laughs> and they're, so there's the game up there with the solidarity fest and, <laughs> Okay, cool. So social services. Thank you, Ryan. Okay, so social services will be stored. <laughs> this is the tax evaders game and the illuminator and um, the New York City overpass light brigade are out here projecting the tax evaders game onto the wall of Citibank. So instead of the space invaders from the original video game, there are corporate logos. And then at the bottom of the game, there's the Solidarity Fest with a bunch of people holding protest signs. And they can shoot, instead of shooting down the space invaders, they have to shoot the corporations, like there's Goldman Sachs. It's still there's, oh, they just got Goldman Sachs up in the top. <laughs> They just got, yeah, so now it's a new round. So you can see at the bottom, yeah, there's 20 people. So the protesters are the ones, um, those are the people. And then, like, that, that big um, building that's, like, the White House with these black, um, or, I guess, or the Capitol building, sorry, is, like, dropping stuff. Hold on, there's a bus. Onto the people's. Oh, there's only one person left, so. Oh, no! Yay! Good job! You've liberated the government! And <laughs> they liberated the government. You see? <laughs> and so then down here, there's also um, an overpass light brigade underneath. So there's people actually holding it with the Citibank logo. And there's different overpass lights. They have different cutouts you can make depending on where you are. Like we're at Citibank right now, so they have the Citibank logo. But there's all well, the game is starting again now up above on the side of the building. So the different corporate tax dollars, corporate tax evaders are up there. So it's the tax evaders. Yeah, that's the hashtag. And then they have a Twitter too. Uh, so a plus, I mean, there's going to be more. It's uh, in different locations, different light brigades, uh, and different guerrilla production teams are they're doing this all week and kind of a coordinated action week leading up to April 15th is Income Tax Day. And uh, I'm so happy it stopped raining because I was really hoping to find this tonight um, in New York and I did. So again, there's the tax debater people and then the game is up there. And it's being projected. I played the game um, on online in a Java-based application where you use the mouse to move the solidarity fist at the bottom. That thing is moving the shooting rays up into the sky, and the game is a solidarity fist. And then there's people in front of it who are protesters, and they're shooting down these protesters. They're shooting down these corporate logos. Um, that, like, the, oh, there's BP. Well, yeah, CDP's up at the top. There's Verizon. 
And actually, like, when you play the game in this online, in this Java-based way, then you can click and get information about the different corporations. And so you can actually, like, learn more about how much money they didn't pay in taxes um, when, I, when I was playing the game. When, when I was playing it, there was, there was, like, a menu option where I could click and learn more about the company. And the taxes that they're not playing, uh-oh, the recession is imminent. And then you can see the way the game works on the bottom right of the screen. It shows how many people. Oh, wow, this person got farther in the game than I did. And so, yeah, the big building, oh, no, all the demonstrators have been dispersed. So it drops, bom like, whatever bombs or whatever it's dropping on the protesters dance down there. So... <laughs> Taxi So yeah, you can actually read, it says, without these revenues, our social, our social services are being cut, education, health care, infrastructure. We must rise up and make the corporate tax debaters pay. So then we have the solidarity groups and the protesters have to shoot down <laughs> the different corporations. <laughs> Tax evaders. Um, it's just tax evaders rise, and uh, yeah, it has a hashtag. If you search the hashtag tax evaders, and it has a Twitter too. Um, there's a Tumblr about it that has information about it as well. Um, but if, I think honestly, I think the quickest way if you do this is Twitter search for hashtag tax evaders. Um, I'll, I'll try to send it to right now. I think. Yeah, there's a website where you can play it. I mean, I just played it on my computer because we've been projecting in New Orleans on the walls, so we're really excited to try this. And, um... Yeah, thank you. No, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, it's tax evaders, and you can play on there. And then there's all this information. So, I mean, this is sounds like, to me, just a great example of how creative Occupy has gotten and how creative pro these protests against banks and against corporations are getting. And this is... Something that obviously took some technical skills to develop the game, and you know, to make the over. There's also sorry, there's the overpass light brigade, and um, there's different like stencils that you can download to make your own. Um, but they know who we are, and this is New York City, like by Union Square, and this is the uh, City Bank, and so they have the City Bank. And then the game is being played. There are people walking by and play the game, like they can try to play the show. And so it's kind of it's, in real life, it's easier to. It's a, I think it's probably easier to see the screen. I'm not sure how it looks um, on live stream, but it's really easy to read the words. Like standing here on the screen, I do have 2020 vision. Um, so if you could, if you go to taxevaders.net, you can play the game and like, you can actually read what it does. And um, so it's really fun. And yeah, so people are driving by, so walking by, and asking, you know, asking a lot of questions. So Citibank is a tax evader. <laughs> and 
and everyone who's walking around Union, Union Square right now in New York knows, and they can tell from this video game, that people, passerbys can actually play on the, on the wall, which is awesome. And then the, the overpass light brigade, and I just, I just love the two of these in conjunction. I think it's just beautiful. <laughs> And I mean, look at, oh, there's a lot of people, you know, watching this, like there's people like looking out the window from in these buildings, and it's super fun and interactive. Um, the cops right by. The co yeah, the cops just drove by life. They did. <laughs> Is that, what, how do they usually respond to, like, Illuminator action? Yeah, so, <laughs> I'm still, I've been in New York for about 24 years. Oh, I was just asking how the police usually respond to protecting here. I'm from New Orleans. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I just we have a we have the uh, well, yeah. yeah, we have the most unbelievably uh, uh, yeah. impressive police force in the country. We have to get away with this. Yeah. Really? Sort of crazy that we're going to get away with this. Really? Because we have this many rights around. So we can't even try to do the market right here. Wow, so you're, you're surprised that you've been able to do <laughs> in New Orleans. We've been talking online. Yeah. What's your name? Tara Sill. Thank you. I'm so glad to meet you. I was waiting and waiting for the rain to stop. I know. That was unexpected, but it's actually been great because it's made a lot of the images sharper. Yeah. Has it really? Yeah, especially with the projection. Yeah, with the lit up stuff. Yeah. I love it. No, we're super excited to do this, but I, um, you know, we're not going to be able to go back to New Orleans this weekend, so we're going to do it there. Before. Yeah, that's awesome. That's great. I love it. And it's great that people can just, people can walk by. You know what? If you meet people where they're at, if you give them something that they can enjoy while you're making yeah, your point, can I tell people will pay attention because you're showing, that's actually a way of showing respect for people rather than trying to beat them over the head with your message and saying, no, no, I get that life is hard. I get that it's a struggle. I'm not going to tell you that over and over again to get you on my side. We both acknowledge it's tough. We're going to have some fun together, but we're also going to talk about the real issues. Right. It's a very different approach. No, it's a great approach, and I, I know I absolutely love it. I love it a lot. That's so, yeah, we've kind of like with Occupy Nola. Hey guys, you know, I bet some people are holding letters. People, people are holding letters. Sorry, my finger was. So wait. Tell them they can they can stop if they want. Or they're 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 are they um, are they playing the game on the computer? We're, we're actually playing the game with a Wii controller. Oh, so you do have the Wii controller. Yeah, there's no okay. one sitting on a laptop somewhere. It's actually people sitting out yeah. on the street who are... Who are so there is a way to play it with a Wii controller. I've never touched yeah, a Wii controller. It's crazier. There's the group right now in Baltimore. Okay, I'll yeah. give you the big story. Yeah, you right want to... Because I'm on Global Rev right now, and so, yeah. So people are watching. They, if it will be, you can just explain. So this is part of a national night of illuminated action that is happening all across the country right now. We have about seven different groups with illuminated letters, part of the Overpass Light Brigade Network, who are calling out corporate tax evaders for stealing trillions of dollars from our economy at a time where we're struggling to make ends meet. They're threatening to social security, health care, education, and we're saying, we don't need to make cuts. We need to go get the money that's already owed to us, and including in the Cayman Islands, because these fuckers are hiding. Anyway, all across the country, we're coming together with that message tonight, calling out these tax dodgers by writing their name in life, and then doing this new video game. It's a riff on space evaders called tax evaders, and the team in Baltimore is actually playing it with a uh, Xbox Connect, which is uh, which uses your body motion as a controller. <laughs>
So somewhere in Baltimore, there are people dancing in the streets trying to blast corporate tax evaders. Here we're playing it with a Wii controller. That is so awesome, but you can also play it with a computer online. Uh, I did, yeah. yeah. You can go to taxevaders.net mm. to see the video game. There's actually a whole lot of information about the tax evading corporations themselves. Mm. It's really well researched. And that part awesome. is awesome, because yeah. I've was i been playing the game with a computer, and then I love that, but then there's more, you know, because it's more information, so totally. people can learn. It's and totally based on solid research. No, so I think it's wonderful. I'm so, so, yeah. It's great. And I've seen the baseball cards. There's, um, there's another group. There's another group with baseball cards. <laughs> Just to be clear, there's an actual corporate tax dodging baseball team called the Tax Dodgers, and they were the original version. So okay. if you want to go, and they're actually in the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Believe it or not, there's a fake baseball team from Occupy Wall Street in the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York, called the Tax Dodgers. Uh, if you look out the Google Tax Dodgers, yeah. a lot of photographs. I saw them at the National Gallery, and I saw them play, and they had the loopholes too. That's right, the corporate Yeah, 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 I saw that then. So, I, I just think this is great. I was so excited when I heard about it, because, you know, we're really new at projecting. Um, but, well, yeah. But that's we get great. To we're trying to start a chain of guerrilla projection movie theaters all across the country that are just people going out with projectors, doing this stuff at night, um, you know, taking big, you know, any kind of video game content and movies. Yeah. And doing this in public spaces and trying to get the message across. And totally yeah, that's what we've been in New Orleans because it's like, it's so hard to even get the message across when mainstream media is just meeting people over the head with, with nothing. But, you know, yeah. with stuff that supports the corporate uh, government agenda. And, um... And now it's because there's so many amazing groups that are doing this, and most of them have figured this out on your own, like your group. Everyone's doing this independently, but we're finding each other. Uh, yeah, that's so the great part. Uh, network, and we can take one thing and share it across the entire network. Yeah. And this game is going to be played in about four or five different cities. But we can just keep doing this all it's, together. It's amazing, and it's great to like work with people and share this stuff. Because I mean, we, I've loved the Illuminator and everything I was doing for so long. And um, no, it's great too that I mean, y'all have been so helpful, like just kind of explaining. Yeah, oh cool! You've been so great. Yeah. Really fun. I really like the two together, having the light brigade and the game projected up there as well. I don't know. That's awesome. <laughs> Oh, wow. So he does the bat signal in Portland, and you can text messages to it? That's really cool. Justin, love of my life, who does projecting with me in New Orleans. I don't know if you're watching this right now or not. Because, but if you are, I love you. Who's the tax evaders? Um, the tax evaders are different corporations that have not been paying their, that, that have not been paying taxes, and that tax money could go towards schools, hospitals, social services. So Citibank is one of them. Oh, that's what yeah, and if you go to taxevaders.net, you can learn more. There's a lot of facts about it. Just like about where our tax dollars are going and, and where they're not going, like the education and social services and hospitals. This is so fun. Pardon? Um, these are different corporations that are not paying, that are evading their taxes. They're not paying the taxes that they should be paying. And that money that they, you know, that, they, that money should be going to be used for things like schools and hospitals. But instead, they're getting out of their taxes. Like Citibank is one of them. So it's kind of like if I didn't pay my income taxes, it's just like trying to keep all the money and hide it. You know, and, and I should be saying that. So, because 